नमस्कार सद्गुरु अनेस्ट ग्रीटिंग्स टू यू आई एम डॉक्टर गायत्री फ्रॉम मुंबई हैड दिस क्वेश्चन टू आस्क अयोध्या एंड नॉर्थ इंडिया एज सच इज अ लैंड ऑफ द लॉर्ड्स फ्रॉम लॉर्ड राम टू कृष्णा ऑल हैव टेकन बर्थ देयर एंड कंसिडर्ड सो सीक्रेट बट स्टिल नॉर्थ इंडिया इज ऑलवेज अंडर कॉन्फ्लिक्ट लॉट ऑफ वायलेंस अब्यूज एडिक्शन केसेज आर मोर प्रेवलेंट इन दैट पार्ट ऑफ नेशन डिस्पाइट बींग सो होली वाई इज इट सो well uh, if you look at rama's life more closely if you look at krishna's life obviously people around him of his time also were very violent people no qualms about doing all kinds of terrible things to each other it's only because of that probably that the significance of a man like krishna with his sense of balance playfulness involvement wisdom and above all uh, a tremendous sense of grace that he exuded all became significant if everybody was living absolutely well without tyrants doing terrible things i don't think he would have shined as he did because of all these terrible people becomes very significant see here uh, the yoga center is full of flowers i don't know how many of you are noticing the fragrance and the beauty of these flowers this is a very very intricate and fantastic flower called krishna kamalam most people wouldn't have seen this flower very intricate thing well it's in many places in yoga center if you are <laughs> if you are in a tourist mode i'm saying i have nothing against tourists and tourism we need it right now it's in a great hit so definitely we need but tourists usually are you know these days no not even that <laughs> that's gone those days are gone of taking pictures of other people and things this is all about you now so if you are in that kind of mode you will go going like this uh you will not sense anything subtle you will not stare stop because the krishna kamalam will not uh, come and pop up in front of your face and take a selfie it'll just be there gently exuding its fragrance you need little sensitivity if you're not smelling the flower maybe you have the virus and some of you may notice ah some fragrance some fragrance ah well the krishna kamalam is exuding one kind of fragrance the you know the sampige exuding another kind of fragrance and the jasmine exuding another kind of fragrance the variety of flowers exuding different kinds of fragrance i am very sure even here they just a few people or let's call them noses they just a few noses which poke their nose into every flower and they know the difference <laughs> others ah flowers something most others don't even know for them only dinner time is coming the smell of the food draws them i am not trying to uh demean and make fun of everything but that is the reality of life if in this garden so many flowers most people wouldn't have noticed what is what but suppose you are walking in a desert where everything is harsh just sand in the middle there was just one lotus flower would you miss it no way you will miss it in a way that is what happened to these people krishna because around situations are tyrannical people are doing terrible things one man rises above all those things 
not a saint who sits in the mountains, not a saint who doesn't live a life, somebody who is absolutely involved with everything, but still well above everything. Nobody could miss him, how could they miss him? He's too beautiful to be missed in that atmosphere. Suppose there were one thousand people like him, that's not possible, it's never happened, such a thing. But suppose even there were a ten, they would have missed him. Only one, so he shines. Well, after he's, go after he's gone, did they get the point? No, because uh, maybe not exactly halfway down, but towards the end of his life, he went to Gujarat, you know that. And uh, there, uh, things happened tragically and his own clan fought among each other and killed almost every one of them, died in battles among themselves. Because they had gotten used to fighting battles with somebody all their lives, suddenly no enemy, so they decided to fight among themselves. What to do with the lifetime of practice that you have of fighting and killing, when there is nobody to kill, you kill among yourself. <laughs> so that's how it ended, unfortunately. But the significance of their lives are not gone, of course. In... Uh, I think in India there is a saying, if you keep a lamp which spreads light to everybody, just beneath the la lamp always there will be darkness. So this happened, but if you take it to a larger expanse, if you take it elsewhere, you will see the places or from the geographical location from where the major religions have come. Where Jesus is born, where Judaism was born, where even Islam was born, well, last two thousand years has not been shining light for anybody. Huge amount of violence, probably cruelest things happening, the soil is soaked with blood that whole region, still continuing. I don't think one single day passes without some effort to kill somebody because of long-term hatred going on. So individual people fighting for something is a different matter, but large groups of people, either race, religion or nations continuing to fight for a thousand years means we've lost it. Fights will happen, unfortunately, should not happen, but it will happen, human beings sometimes spill over. You must come to your senses. <laughs> but over two thousand years, if you're fighting, well, you've really lost it, no question about it. So the same thing, at least uh, the Yadavas and the Uttar Pradesh people are not going to that extent, they've brought the organized fight to individual level of uh, fighting, little improvement. At least they're not fighting clan against clan, they've come down, it's become more economic, more individual, more d lack of discipline, those kind of things. Well, uh, <laughs> we must see, we need to discipline them. Today, uh, somehow, in their land, uh, they have even elected a yogi. Hope he brings some discipline to the land. Uh, I think he is trying, whatever. I don't want... I, this is not a political statement, it's just ironic. A land which has seen uh, so much violence and so much uh, all kinds of things, now uh, chooses a yogi as their chief minister, which is a little tongue-in-cheek for me. But uh, <laughs> this is not <laughs> about making a statement about him or the people, but this is how the world has been. Especially wherever a shining light came around that, people didn't get it, far away people got it. Close by people didn't get it. Uh, because uh, they're little blinded by that light, they can't see a thing. People who far away could see the value of who those people are. But uh, those who are close by generally miss the point. Need not be so in future, but that has been the general history of human beings that when something is close up, 
they miss it, when it's far away, they hanker for it. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, they did that to Krishna also, but Krishna moved to Gujarat. He is very popular in Gujarat even today. And uh, from there, post his time, they sent his image to Kerala. You know this? Oh. This is... Uh, there are cl claims and counterclaims about this, but the first temple that was built for Krishna, when he was still alive, they built a temple for him. So when things went wrong and uh, battles happened and uh, this temple could be destroyed, then it is said Vyasa took the idol that was in the temple because he didn't want it to be destroyed and took a sailboat and sailed down the coast to Kerala. That is why it is called Guru Vayur, because a guru who used the wind to come down south and established it in Guru Vayur. Even today, from all over the country, all the Krishna devotees are beelining to Guru Vayur because that is supposed to be the original deity of... in his form. So, uh, it lives in many places, but close up, little problem. But maybe there also it will shine now, if people have chosen discipline as their head of state for that state, maybe they got the desire to change, which is a very welcome change <laughs>